Hi Aries, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 33 Tarot and we're just going to jump in and see what's going on with who you're dealing with, what are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you. All right, now this is for Aries, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising in the North Node, so it's not going to resonate with all of you, but for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777, and I do offer same-day personal readings for $20. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. All right, thank you. Flip for you here. Ooh, hold on here, Aries. Another card that flipped over for you. Okay, Aries, so it looks like here with who this is that you are dealing with, there's a lot going on. It's like they're, for some of you, they're only in a marriage and a relationship with you because you basically provide or help out with opportunities and financial stuff where they know they can only make that work with you. And so they stay with you, but they may have someone on the side. For others of you, it's like they're just basically cheating on you or they're trying to cheat with you or, you know, either or here. For some of you, it's about your friend groups and a bunch of things and others, it's just like, you know, a lot of addictions. So either or here with whoever this is, they start out pretty conflicted or frustrated or annoyed, or maybe there was something going on between the two of you of like drama, conflict, problems, and issues. But then it looks like here they made peace with you and everything's fine here. And there's, you know, they understand, um, you know, what goes on between the two of you. And that's what makes them kind of feel like it's just best to try, just kind of like leave this and walk away from this, or especially if this is about like money and finances. And that's where they just kind of choose to sit there and still like care for you or like you or love you or emotionally commit here or be friendly and be your friend literally if this is like friend you know friends friend groups or um you know whether this is you know i sell a celebration a party you know a reunion people around you know or you know something about drinking, smoking, you know, whatever this is here, maybe a third party for some of you here. It's kind of like either or they choose to kind of be involved and do something here with you and them in regards to all of that. And that's where there's a lot of pain in regards to, you know, with them knowing that something is over with and it's done with and it's after that partying energy here. And that's where they're having a juggle and balance a lot going on. And now they don't really know what to do, but it's for who they want or what they want really bad, whether it's with you or with what they want with themselves it looks like they feel really fulfilled and happy to approach either you or someone here, okay? And they're aware of what to do or what to say, and maybe they've communicated something here to you. Um, it looks like to be friendly, nice, or loving to you or give a message of love to you or maybe to someone else, I don't know, but anything, or maybe it's about, you know, um, someone outside of the both of you, but regardless, whatever this is about, this is what causes them to feel a lot of like pain and sadness and depression um about the situation and also about you somehow involved but that's why they would try to create they want to you know 
create an opportunity with you to try something again here with you at the same time or either they had this opportunity with you you know in any way shape or form whatever this is a new chapter but that fast that's where there's a lot of pain and heartbreak yet again that they're going through here and i don't know if they need to leave you break up with you get over you deal with something about this you know some sort of pain whatever it is instead they just choose to put their walls up and they remain extremely guarded here towards you and or towards a person here and that's what makes them at the same time still want to kind of make plans towards you or something or someone here just flew out so hold on here Aries just a second so them feeling guarded basically here whether it's towards you or someone else or like the, because they just want to like kind of pursue or take action and do something it looks like it's about the truth a truth coming out them wanting to be honest about something here or you know whatever it may be and it's either them being pregnant you or someone here you know whatever this is here it could be about a completely different personal side of the both of you or it's maybe them some, wanting something about the marriage or relationship they have with you something about for some of you business money success status wealth whatever this is or a completely different person outside of the both of you that's where they have a lot of passion that's where they want a new beginning in a chapter okay and that that fast that's where they want to create you know legal matters with you and or make things equal with you balance you know sign a contract or for some of you maybe get a divorce unfortunately whatever it is that's where there's a lot of confusion and they don't really know what to do about all of this even though they know what to do and that's what's kind of putting them there it's that's what's making them go through it here because they understand it's it's life-changing and it's something that is you know, needs to be done with here in regards to the situation. About themselves, about them and you, about whatever it is that they're doing in their life. So it looks like here they end up having to kind of do some research, communicate to you, message you, talk to you, possibly study, spy, just kind of figure out some things so that they can go ahead and passionately move really quickly towards either you or their own new beginning and do their own thing here. And they're moving really fast. Um, they're just kind of, they're just going for it. They're taking this leap of faith, whether it's about a home setting, moving, relocating, maybe whatever they're doing at home, whether they live with you or don't either or here. Okay. So um, what uh Emery, what i don't know <laughs> you could be dealing with um an aries leo sagittarius pisces cancer scorpio gemini libra aquarius and that's about it thank you bye